This is a video on solving a quadratic equation. The first thing you want to do when solving a quadratic equation is get the equation in standard form. And that form is the ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero form. Uh, in other words, you want to make one side of the equation equal to zero and move everything else to the left side. Uh, this, you can tell it's a quadratic equation by the highest power on x being an x squared. So that's just letting you know that you have a quadratic equation and everything should be moved to one side, zero on the other side. Once you've done this, the next thing you want to do is factor the left side of the equation completely. You still want to keep the right side zero, but on the left side, we're going to use our factoring rules to factor this quadratic piece uh, down to its factors. After factoring, all right, in step three here, we're going to set each factor containing a variable equal to zero. And it's important that you look at this part that's underli underlined here, containing a variable. Uh, pretty much meaning any factor you have that has a variable in it, you set to equal to zero. If it's just a number, then you just can ignore it. You don't have to set it equal to zero. Uh, and then step four, all right, solve each of the equations that we just created in step three uh, for the variable. Uh, let's take a look at an example. So we'll solve 6x squared minus 9x equals 42. Now the first thing you should notice is that this is a quadratic equation because the highest power of x we have is x squared. And the next thing you should look at is, all right, am I in standard form? And currently, we aren't, right, because we have a 42 on the right side of the equation here, everything else on the left side. So to move this 42 over to the left side, we're going to subtract it. So we're going to subtract 42 here. We're going to subtract 42 here. On the right side here, they're going to cancel. And we're going to be left with 6x squared minus 9x minus 42 equals 0. Notice 42 didn't really combine with anything on this left side because it was not a like term, right? It doesn't have an x with it or an x squared, so it's got to be its own term at the end. Uh, now we're in standard form. Once we're in standard form, we want to factor the left side of this equation. And for the left side of the equation here, the first step when factoring is you want to look for a GCF. And in this case, we have a GCF that's equal to 6, 9, and 42 all have 3 in common. So we can factor out a 3. So factoring on this side, we're going to factor out 3. We're going to be left with a 2x squared minus 3x minus 14, and that's going to be equal to 0. All right, so this equal to 0 stays throughout the entire problem. Uh, continue on in this manner. All right, we're going to continue to factor. The 3 just drops down, just like normal when you factor out a GCF. And inside the parentheses here, we're actually going to use the AC method to rewrite it so we can use factor by grouping. So for the AC method, Remember, we want to look to see what multiplies to a times c, which in this case is 2 times negative 14, which is negative 28. And they also have to add to whatever b is. In this case, it's negative 3. And the numbers that do that would be negative 7 times a positive 4 gives us negative 28. Negative 7 plus 4 does equal negative 3. So we can rewrite this inside piece as 2x squared. Oops, sorry. Maybe 2x squared. All right, and then the minus 3x is what's getting replaced with a minus 7x plus 4x minus 14. And this whole thing still does equal 0. So we're going to continue on in our factoring. The 3 continues to drop down. And factoring here, we're going to use grouping. From the first group, I can factor out an x. From the second group, I can factor out a GCF of 2. So you're going to have 3 times in parentheses, and these are the big parentheses now, x times, factoring an x out of here, we'll have 2x minus 7, plus factoring a 2 out of here, we're going to have 2x minus 7 there. And this whole thing equals 0. Once we factored this, or once we factored out GCF from each piece, now we want to see what matches, which is 2x minus 7, so we're going to have 3 times 2x minus 7, times x plus 2, alright, because that's what's left over, goes in the second set of parentheses, and that's equal to 0, and now we set each factor equal to 0, each factor containing a variable. So 3 doesn't equal 0, we can ignore it, there are no variables in 3, it's just 3 by itself. So we're going to set 2x minus 7 equal to 0, and x plus 2 equal to 0, and then solve for each. So here we're going to add 7, and add 7, so we have 2x equals 7 and divide by 2, divide by 2, so we get x equals 7 over 2. So that's one answer. Here we're going to subtract 2 from each side. Subtracting 2, we get x equals negative 2. And then we've solved the equation. Now try one on your own.